White in Life with Elizabeth, featuring Del Moore. For our first incident in the life of Elizabeth, why don't we see what she and Alvin are doing at this very moment? Let's see, it's about 8.30, so dinner should be over. I heard them mention they'd be home tonight. So why don't we take a chance? Elizabeth, how are you tonight? <laughs> I can see Alvin's taking pictures, but what are you working on? Oh, darning socks. You'd better listen to Alvin. He's about to say something. All right, honey, strike the pose and hold it. Real nice. Ready? <laughs> there. Hey, that ought to be a real good study. Wonder what I ought to call that. Why don't you call it Whistler's sister? <laughs> Whistler's sister. No, I have a better idea, darling. Why don't you sit here and we'll call it Whistler's father? <laughs> Elizabeth, will you stop talking like an idiot, please? Sometimes I have to talk like an idiot, darling, so you'll understand me. What did you mean by that? Nothing. As long as we have this rocker, why don't you make a whole series of Whistler pictures? Get this thing. I have an idea. Here, come here. You sit here a minute. You be Mr. Whistler. Honey, please, I'm trying to take pictures now. Come you... on now. Don't no be time. so narrow-minded. I might have a good idea here. You don't know. Here. All right, now you sit right like that. Now, purse your lips, Mr. Whistler. Okay. Hold it. Got it. <laughs> I think I'll call that Whistler Whistling. <laughs> Honey, you're wasting the film, please. No, I... one more shot, just one more. Now sit there, Mr. Whistler. Mr. Whistler. All right. Now get up. Now move away. Away? Away, yeah. Hold it. Got it. Now, what's the big idea of taking a picture of an empty chair? I'm going to call it Whistler's Off His Rocker. <laughs> rocker, get away from that tripod. Alvin, you knocked me out with that camera. Don't put any ideas in my head, Grandma. I'm sorry. I guess I have been teasing you too much, darling. It's all right. I'm just trying to concentrate. What's the idea of all the pictures all of a sudden? Oh, that magazine, they're running a contest for all kinds of pictures. I'm going to enter every one of them. Still lights, candidates, portraits, whole works. A lot of money in this, you know, if you put your mind to it. What are you doing now? This is going to be one of the still lights. I think I'm going to call this one Grapefruit in a Bowl. Yeah. That's probably logical, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> what, what did you call it? Sour Pawn Shop. <laughs> you get it, it looks like one of those signs out of a pawn shop. Yeah. I kill me. What do you do, honey? Sharpen your toenails? Thank you. <laughs> what was that for? That was one of the candid shots. And I might as well warn you, dear, that I'm going to take as many candid shots of you as I get a chance to, so be careful. Oh, Alvin, don't do that. They make people look awful. Oh, well, don't say I didn't warn you. <laughs> Well, that's the way you feel about it. I'm going to stay right in this chair. Suit yourself. What do I care? <laughs> Elizabeth, will you hand me that flash bulb down there, please, on the floor? Where? Right down there in front of the chair. Thank you. Oh, Alvin. Right. I'm going to call that one Lady in Pain. Huh? Alvin, give me that. No, no. Besides, I want to take some real nice pictures of you a little bit later. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing now? I don't trust you. Adjusting the lights. That's all. I'm merely adjusting the lights. Alvin. Come on, Alvin. I'm none of your tricks. Hold it. Thank you. Give me that. Last one. Sit down. Take a nice pretty picture. Come on, Can't even trust you behind my back. Now, this one is going to be a prize winner, and I am going to call this one. Typical. It's going to be a little close up, so watch it. Typical wife. Hold still now. Typical. Wouldn't I look more natural going through your wallet? <laughs> Honey, please. Now, this is a serious point. Ready? One, two. <laughs> That's funny. All right, let's try it again. One. Pretty. One, two. Must be a cheap lens. 
Now, let's take it once more. All righty, nice and pretty. One, two, oh, Elizabeth, for goodness sake. Honey, now that's nice. Crickets. <laughs> Thank you. I shall leave you at this point, Alvin. I have a television program I'd like to hear. No, wait a minute. No, 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 just a minute. I want to try one more shot. Where's that glass top table we had around here? You know, the glass well, top. Well, it was a bear at a bike check. Oh, here. There it is. All righty. Would you put it right over here for me, please, Elizabeth? Lighting isn't too bad in here for pictures, I don't think. Oh. Now, where do you want this? I'll uh, just put it right down here, sweetie. Oh, <laughs> this is the one you ought to call Lady in Pain. Yeah, it's very funny. <laughs> put the pain down where? there. Yeah. Right down there. Oh. Can I help you, Lady? Thank you ever so much, Alan. Yeah. Now, look, when I climb underneath, I want you to adjust the lights, okay? Bye. What are you, what are you trying to do? Get, get a worm's eye view of the ceiling? No, I'm going to wait till a fly lands on the glass. It should make a very unusual shot, don't you think? Alvin, you're stooping pretty low when you start photographing underneath flies. I would just have to wait. Maybe I'd better open the screen doors and let some in. Elizabeth, don't be ridiculous. Elizabeth, don't let any flies in this house. We've got enough. Elizabeth, come back here. We've got enough flies. Alvin? Yes? Any flies yet? No. <laughs> Maybe this will do it. Elizabeth, don't do that. Honey, don't do it. Elizabeth. Uh, I, 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 All right, okay. Go on, see your television show. Get out of here. Come on. No, let's, let's take some more pictures. I think I'll help you. Let's do some more still lifes. Elizabeth, please. Um, there. Now, what is that supposed to be? Let's call it, uh, stick in a grapefruit. Oh, Elizabeth, for goodness sake, don't be that and so... It's stuck. Let's call it stuck stick in a grapefruit. <laughs> Get out of here. Go on. Get on out of here. You know, if we piled them up on him, we could have a whole stack of stuck sticks. Out. <laughs> out. And if we saved them, we could have a, a whole stack of stuck sticks in stock. You go stick stuck stick stuck. stuck. Here. Stick Hold this. Thank you, Elizabeth. <laughs> now, what's the big idea putting that under my chin? Cut. I think I'll, I think I'll call that water under the bridge. <laughs> Open your hand. Open your hand. I'm helping? Sure, helping. Hold this, please. Cup your hands. There you are. Put your hands together. How do you mean? Like this. Right in here. Close them in there like that. Tighten up. You got it? How's that? Yeah. All right? Uh-huh. Good. <laughs> what are you going to call this one? I think I shall call that, um... <clears throat> I shall leave you at this point, Elizabeth. That's a funny name for it. Good night, Elizabeth. Alvin, no. <laughs> Alvin, you couldn't do a thing like this. Alvin? Listen, aren't you ashamed? <laughs> <laughs> You know, every marriage eventually reaches that stage known as the end of the honeymoon. It's that time in marriage when the husband suddenly notices the burnt toast and the wife decides that her little tin god is actually pretty sloppy about picking up his clothes. Well, Alvin and Elizabeth reached this stage, oh, I'd say about three months after they were married. Elizabeth! Elizabeth! Honey, I can't find a shirt. Here's one, darling. I just oh, ironed it for you. Thanks. Gee, I didn't know you could iron a shirt like that. <laughs> and I handed it to your mother. She really raised you right. <laughs> Matter. Cuffs are wet. Oh, that I had to sprinkle it, honey. They'll dry out in a minute. Okay. Collars wet too. <laughs> Hello, Mama. <laughs> Mama, I scrambled out and shirt the way you told me to, but he says the cuffs are still wet. Oh, I'm supposed to sprinkle it before I iron it. He says to tell you the, co the collar's still damp, too. <laughs> Mama. <laughs> What's she say? She says that's because you're still wet behind the ears. <laughs> Tell her I love her, too, will you? <laughs> 
Uh, all, all, all right, Mama. I'll call you back. I have to get Alvin's breakfast. <laughs> Bye-bye. Wet behind the ears. Honey, I just thought of a funny joke. <laughs> When you go down to work with that wet collar on it, or you lose your temper at somebody. Lose my temper? You're supposed to ask me why. Why? And then when you get hot under the collar, it'll dry out. <laughs> <laughs> I made that up. It's just it's a joke. Sweetie, you're not laughing. How are we gonna dry the cuffs? <laughs> well, you could you could stick your arms out the window when you drive to work. <laughs> Oh, honey, I've got to go get something on my feet. Where are my socks? They're hanging over the heater in the hall. Thank you. You ought to be nice and warm. You find them? Yep, I'll be right there. Did you find them, honey? Oh, good. I found them. What's the matter? Socks. They were hanging over the heater in the hall. Peter wasn't on. I feel like I'm standing in a waiting pool. I could think of a funny joke about a hot foot, but I don't guess you'd want to hear it. No, as a matter of fact, I thought of a funny story. Why is Alvin like an island? You're supposed to ask me why. Why? Because he's entirely surrounded by water. <laughs> you know something, Elizabeth? I think I'm developing web feet. See, they're spreading out like... Oh honey. oh, honey, no, I'm... Oh, honey, I wouldn't do anything to make you... Oh, what did I say, honey? Did I say something? Oh, was it the waiting pool? Was it the one I said about the, about the standing in the pond? And the, what? Oh, honey, what did I say? Please, no matter what I said, I take it back. Now tell Alvin what he said. Please, sweetie. What did I say? You... You called me Elizabeth. <laughs> well, of course, it's my name, but... You haven't called me that since our third date together. Oh, darling, what's happening? Nothing's happening to us. You're just married to an old fool, that's all. Imagine me calling you Elizabeth. I ought to be horsewhipped. Don't talk. I should. No, don't. Yes, I should. It's my own fault for being so touchy, that's all. I shouldn't be such a baby. Now, you eat your breakfast, darling. I'll go get the coffee. Okay. Not before you kiss me. Oh. Mm. Hurry up, you're going to be late for the office. Oh, you start to eat and I'll get yes. the coffee. Oh, yeah. Lamsey Face, who spilled the mustard on the waffle? It's lemon pie. Oh, God, did it look that bad? Oh, no, of course not. I just wasn't expecting lemon pie for breakfast. I guess it is kind of unusual. Would you rather Boston cream? <clears throat> this is just a suggestion, Lamsey, but I love ham and eggs. Good. That's what we're having for dinner. Honey, I don't have time to eat. Look, a fast cup of coffee, then I've got to get to the office. One cup of black coffee coming up. Is that a little weak? I, I must have forgotten to light the gas. It's all right, honey. I don't even have time for the coffee. I've got to get my tie on. By the way, where are my ties? I couldn't find them. <gasps> What's the matter? I... I sent them to the cleaners. All of them? Don't worry about it. I'll, I'll run next door to the Jacksons and borrow a tie. Oh, you get your shoes on or something. I'll, I'll be one minute. Would you hurry, honey? Thank gosh, I'm late again. <laughs> you, you got the tie? Get the tie. Never mind the tie. What do you mean, never mind the tie? I'm going to be late to the office. Never mind the office. The Jacksons just left for church today, Sunday. <laughs> Incident number three in the life of Elizabeth occurred on a very mixed up Saturday afternoon. Now, Elizabeth and Alvin could have made it all right, but their neighbor, Mrs. Chloe Skinridge, came to call. And as you shall see, that didn't help matters a bit. Well, 
hello, Mrs. Skinneridge. Are you Alvin? Mm hmm. Oh, 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 I guess I do look strange. I just came back from the dentist. Oh, you sound like you're eating a peanut butter sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> no, the Novocaine hasn't worn off yet. Uh, I can't even feel my face at all. Look at that. Oh, poor boy. I know exactly how you feel. I just came from the eye doctors myself. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I put drops in my eyes to dilate the pupils. Doesn't that blur things a little bit? Blur things? Oh, no, not a bit, not a bit. Mm-hmm. Why, Elizabeth, I didn't see you standing there. Where's Elizabeth? I didn't know she was home. Yes, right there in the brown dress. Hello, dear. <laughs> now, you've got to do something about that girl. She's gaining weight. Uh, Mrs. Skinridge, those are the drapes. Uh, Elizabeth hasn't returned yet from having her airplane ride. Oh, did she go up on an airplane? She won one of those contests, you know, and got a ride around the city. Didn't I have my pocketbook with me? I thought I uh, had yes. it. Yes, let's sit down on the couch, Mrs. Skinridge. Oh. Elizabeth will be right back. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Just have a seat. Oh. I see him reupholster to the couch. Yeah, <clears throat> the, uh, <laughs> these chairs are nice, too. <laughs> Hello, darling. Hi, sweetie. How are you? Oh, mm. <laughs> Hi, Mrs. Hi. Curry. How are you? Well, don't I get my kiss? Sweetheart, I just kissed you. Alvin, what happened to your face? Oh, no wonder I didn't feel your kiss. I'm dead from the neck up. <laughs> I know that, honey, but what happened to your face? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I'm only teasing. <laughs> how are you, Mrs. Skinner? Oh, just fine, just fine. And how did you enjoy the plane ride? Oh, uh... Oh, fine. Uh, You're such a tiny slip of a thing, too. Uh, wasting all oh, Sit down. Tell us all about it. Uh, sit on the couch there, Mrs. Skinner. Uh, I'll be right with you. Uh, What's the matter with her? Is she flip her lid or something? No, no. She's had her eyes dilated, and she doesn't want to admit that it blurs things a little bit. <laughs> Say, how was the flying trip? Oh, honey, let me tell you about this trip. It was the most exciting thing. Uh, I tell you what, Mrs. Skinridge, instead of sitting on the couch here, uh, why don't you sit over here on this chair? Oh, thanks. Yeah. Yeah, now, come on. Sit down here. We want to hear all about that plane trip. Oh, I don't mind telling you this was the most exciting thing I have ever seen. We went up to 13,000 feet. My leg. Hey, that's pretty high. Didn't it affect your ears? Not a bit. Ooh, mm. That's funny. My ears ring when I go upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'm just lucky. <laughs> Anyhow, we went up to 13,000 feet. Oh. And answer the phone, Alvin. And answer the phone? Shouldn't it ring first, my dear? <laughs> Never mind, it stopped. Anyhow, we went up to 13,000 feet, and the pilot let me take the controls no. for a No, no. Well, I tell you... Alvin, will you answer the phone? Elizabeth, it isn't ringing. It is, too. I'll prove it to you. Hello? you going to hear anything out of your forehead? Well, I can't find my ear. It's or... down here. Anyway, the phone wasn't ringing. There it goes again. Oh, I know what's the matter. You're answering the wrong phone. I'll take care of it. Hello? Hello? I just can't stand people to hang up the minute you say hello. Elizabeth, why don't you admit that your ears are buzzing and ringing from that plane ride? Because they're not. They are. Would you like some coffee, Mrs. Skinridge? Oh, that sounds delightful. I'll get it, honey. I put some on before you came home. Should be ready by now. It is. I can hear it chiming. Stubborn as a mule. Elizabeth, as soon as Alvin goes, I want to show you a song I wrote. He's gone. <laughs> It's in my pocket over here. Here's your purse, Mrs. Skinridge. Oh, <laughs> thanks, dear, thanks. There is. Oh, yes. Alvin, Here's... will you turn off the buzzer on the stove? Here's the song. This is your milk bill. On the other side. I don't read music, Mrs. Skinridge. Now, of course you do. I've heard you sing in the Glee Club many times. All I know is the Aldo part to Old Dog Tray. Hmm? Old, old, my... 
Listen, fire engines. That's a beautiful dress you're wearing. I was telling Alvin, I love that shade of brown. I guess the fire engines were on the next block. My dear, do you mind if I say something personal? Of course not. You've got to do something about your weight. You're getting positively hippie. Here we are. Here's the coffee, girls. Come on, sit down. Ah, oh, sweet. Uh, here. <laughs> here we are. Oh. Thanks. Now, then. Oh, nice. Hey. Here you are, Mrs. Skimridge. Thanks, dear. There you go. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that's hot. Looks good, huh? And here you are, sweetheart. I seem to get away. You can smoke later, darling. I didn't know that Alvin smoked a pipe. Oh, I just love these big cups. <laughs> This one. Hmm? Yes. Oh, thanks. Yeah, I have some. <laughs> Coffee, sir. Hello. Hi, <laughs> up. Uh, here you go. Up there. Yes. Thank you. Try yours. I hope that it's worked enough for you. Sounds delicious. A care for cream, Elizabeth? No, thanks. Oh, the door, sweetheart. There's nobody at the door, Elizabeth. There he is. Uh, <laughs> Hello. Thanks. <laughs> well, it's no worse than you saying you can hear the coffee. Well, I can. Makes kind of a little buzzing noise. Maybe it's the caffeine coughing. <laughs> Elizabeth, your ears are still ringing from that airplane. They are not. Ridiculous. Who's that? What? What? Listen, all that nothing. I don't hear anything. That's just it. Listen to all that silence. Elizabeth, how can you hear silence? For sake. You know what it is, don't you? No. Your ears have finally opened up, that's all. You're so stubborn and so hard-headed. Alvin, the Novocaine has worn off. You didn't put the cigarette in your eye that time. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, that's right. And you don't hear any bells anymore. No. Well, how do you like that? Oh, isn't that wonderful? <laughs> answer the phone. That's really something. Oh, no, you don't. Honey, answer the phone, will you, please? I'm not going to fall for any of your tricks. He's probably just whistling like a phone bell. Oh. I'll get it. Don't worry. Wait. Hello. Hello? Would you answer the phone? Hello? Hello, Mr. Skinridge. This is Mrs. Skinridge. Will, uh -huh. you, will you hang up, Mrs. Skinridge? You bet she's here. Have you a party line, Alvin? Will you, uh -huh. will you, you hang yours up, Mrs. Yeah. Oh, for yes, sure. Yes, I, I sure will. I'll be glad to tell her. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. I didn't know you had two phones. Well, we hardly ever use that one anymore. It's... Oh. That was Mr. Skinridge. No. He said the doctor told him that the eye drops won't bother you so much if you take your glasses off. What? Huh? My la... <laughs> Is that what I was using for a phone? <laughs> Elizabeth, how did you lose all that weight so fast? Huh? I went on a quick diet. <laughs> Oh, the Novocaine is wearing off. My teeth are hurting now. Oh, oh no. Oh. Hey. 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 Say goodbye to the people. Goodbye, goodbye everybody. <laughs> Can you imagine when she went over to the drape? Oh, where'd she go? She said, Now, here to say goodbye to you is the lovely star of our show, Betty White. And thank you, everybody. Thank you. Come on back and see us again, will you? And until next time, once more, goodbye, everybody.